guys and welcome back so guys we are in the kitchen and we are going to be prepping up some lunches for the week i'm going to be doing three lunches one dinner and then i will also do a double batch on two meals to freeze that way we have it for a future meal in the future so let's get to prepping all right so first i'm gonna go ahead and put my eggs in the instant pot to get those going i'm going to be making tuna fish the tuna fish sandwiches i have six five ounce cans of tuna and i'm going to do five eggs for all six but i'm actually going to go ahead and put 10 in that way i have extra for lunches as well as um breakfast. While my eggs are going in the Instant Pot, I have my chicken soaking in some lemon and vinegar water to clean them up. Also, I have some fresh dish water because I am one that I have to clean as I go. I cannot have a pile of dishes at the end of my meal prep. That would just not work for me at all. So I literally clean as I go and I try to use maybe one or two bowls, period, because I will wash them after using them in between dishes, etc., etc., etc. All right, so for one of the lunches, I am going to be making this sausage and pepperoni rotini that we picked up penny shopping at the Dollar General. I'm simply going to put it in the um, foil pan here, making like a little casserole dish. I'm going to add some chopped black olives as well as some green onions, and that will be a lunch meal. not as hearty as it states it is so we're going to add actually four cans instead of two I thought I was going to be able to get away with just two cans but obviously I am not so we're going to fill that up I probably should have like tested it out to see just how hearty or how thick it was because um, I definitely would add more ground meat or even ground turkey to this um, just to fill it up more or even some Italian sausage ground up. And I think I actually may have some. So we may do that. But for now, this is going to work. I'm going to, again, put in my chives, green onions once Allison is done chopping them up. And then when we get, to, get ready to bake it and serve it for lunch, I will probably top it off with some cheese as well. So my eggs are done. They are cooling in a ice bath at the moment. And now I am putting my chicken in the Instapot. So with my chicken, I season it with salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. And then for the liquid, I'm using some um, chicken broth. And I'll let this all cook in. Now I did have some really huge chicken breasts. So I cut all of them in half. So I have half of each, if you will, in here. And then the other half I'm going to season and probably, I'll probably go ahead and cook it up in the Instant Pot as well and then just freeze that for a future meal as All well. All right, so when it comes to my tuna fish, there is like really no set recipe. I pretty much cook from the gut, if you will, and season to taste as to how we like it with salt, pepper. Sometimes I will add in a little bit of garlic powder, but I don't have any more because I just used the last little ounce that I had on my chicken. But I will also add in some lemon juice, pickle relish, and mayo, and then of course my boiled eggs, and then the tuna fish will be that. Now typically I will add in one or a half chop of red onion, just depending on how much tuna fish I'm doing, and then some chives however i don't have either but what i do have is white onion as well as um, green onion so i'm going to add that in now i did cook down the onion just a tad bit not too much because i actually like the crunch of the onion in the tuna fish so we're going to get mixing on all of this
All right, tuna fish is done. We're going to have tuna fish sandwiches, and we're going to be using our free bread that we got from Kroger. It was a Friday freebie, so free always tastes better, of course. I'm going to serve it with fresh fruit and probably some Lay's potato chips, and that'll be that. All right, so we're going to throw in a fourth meal for lunch this week because someone took out an extra pack of hot dog buns, and I don't want to refreeze them. So I'm just going to cook up this box of macaroni and cheese because what kid doesn't like box mac and cheese? And I'm just going to add the hot dog weenies into that, which Mason chopped up for us. He was so nice and sweet to do that. So I'm just going to add the weenies into the mac and cheese, put it in a fall pan, and it'll be lunch for this week. Um, and I just simply follow the directions, of course, on the back of the box which this box here is a three, three, six ounce packs. I picked this up at the Dollar Tree, I believe, so I need to use it up anyway, so that worked out perfectly. All right, so while we're waiting on the water to boil up for the mac and cheese, I'm going to start working on the beans burritos. All I'm using is a 16 ounce can of traditional refried beans from Kroger's, and then I have a can of the black beans that we picked up recently, penny shopping at the Dollar General. I don't know about you guys, but for some reason when food is either like really cheap with a coupon deal or a penny, it just tastes 10 times better in my opinion. So bean and cheese burritos or the other or is another meal I'm making for lunch this week. So I'm just going to get all of this mixed in, let it warm through. And then the last thing I will do is roll burritos because Mason wanted to help me with that process. want to know how I keep my engine rolling around here boudin my friends boudin it is so so yummy also have a salad going and I also blended up some fresh strawberries and watermelon I added in a little bit of the frozen minute made pink lemonade blending it all up in the blend tech by the way she is a beast poured it over ice and it is so so yummy I actually made an entire picture for the kiddos to have some as well and guys this is my lunch and I am going to sit down while the kids are upstairs entertaining themselves and hopefully get it all consumed before anyone comes down all right so the refried beans and black beans are done I'm going to let those cool all the way down before we start assembling the burritos however we did have a pack of Spanish rice that was apparently cooked on 5-8 in the freezer so I just put it in some water, defrost it, and I'm just going to stir it in um, with the beans, and that way I go ahead and use up this leftover rice. All right, so macaroni and weenies are all done. Now the day that we go to serve this, I just wanted to pull it out of the refrigerator, of course, pop it into the oven for a few minutes to warm it through. I will serve it with fresh fruit, of course, and a side salad to fill these kids up. All right, so for the one dinner meal that I am prepping for the week, I'm actually going to make a double batch. That way I can freeze one for a future meal. It's called French Onion Chicken Noodle Casserole. I will leave the link to the exact recipe in the description box for you but it does call for egg noodles and i'm just using the wide egg noodles the kroger brand also french onion sour cream based dip kroger brand as well the frenchies crispy fried onions which i had these in the pantry so i'm glad to be using these up because they do expire in august to be exact cans of cream of chicken and then some sharp cheddar cheese and then of course my chicken which i currently have cooling down at the moment
sweet rolls are all done. Now the day that we go to serve this for lunch, we'll just pull it out of the refrigerator, place it in the oven for about 25 minutes. That way it warms all the way through and then the bread will be nice and toasty. Now I will serve this with chips, fruit, and probably a side salad as well. All right guys, so I'm calling it quits right about here. I got everything done except my bean burritos, but I'll probably just do those tomorrow. The hubby actually promised the kiddos that he would take them swimming this afternoon, so we are gonna go ahead and head to the pool. And actually they already left and went to the pool, so my plan is to put all this up, finish cleaning off the kitchen. I need to drop Jalen off to work, and then from there I will come back and then join the rest of the family at the pool and hopefully get a nap in at the pool and some shade. So that's the plan for me. Anyways, let me turn the camera around and show you guys everything that um, I got done. All right, so we have our tuna for Sunday's lunch. Then we have our sliders for Monday's dinner. However, I think we're probably going to move this to Sunday's dinner as we're planning to take the kiddos skating. And I just think it'll be easy to come home from the skating ring, pop these into the oven, serve with some chips and a salad. And we'll be done with that pretty much. Then this here is going to be Tuesday's um, dinner. Now back up. The hubby is supposed to be making spaghetti for us on Sunday. However, because I know he has to work, I highly doubt that we get spaghetti on Sunday. So instead, we'll probably just again move this to Sunday's dinner and then have spaghetti on Monday. Then I have my um, bean burrito mix here. I have lunch for Tuesday and then lunch for Wednesday. And then these are the items that are going to go in the freezer. So I made a double batch for the French onion casserole. I have never frozen this recipe before. I made it several times, but never froze it. So I decided not to put in the little onions. And I'll just add those when I get ready to cook it because I'm not sure how they would freeze or if they would get soggy or anything like that. Then I have two additional trays of sliders and those will be going in the freezer as well. Uh, okay. They actually look cute like this. Okay, what happened? What, she she put the bonnet on. Let me see. Come here. Turn around. It was like curved up. Like and what's your plan? What y'all doing up there? Beauty salon. Beauty, Beauty salon. salon. Let me see you breathe. Turn around, girl. Give us a. Woo! Let me see. Y'all had a facial too, girl. You looking good. But I got a question. What 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 products y'all using? We're using lotion and water. Oh, okay, okay. Cause I'm just saying, okay. your face is glowing. Let me see your hair, girl. Ooh. There's some soft, soft, some make your face uh, soft. What else will make your face? What you use is making your face soft. That's soft lotion. lotion. Oh, soft lotion. Okay. Let's feel. Maybe tonight we can do face masks. How about that? <gasps> yes. Oh, yes. And Maddie. I put my hand to pigtails. Exit. <laughs>